Hello, welcome to IGTV. I am Angeline Ong, and this is your special look ahead to Thursday, the 22nd of June. The set piece on Thursday is the Bank of England interest rate decision. Uh, it's uh, expected to hike by 25 basis points. But after today's uh, inflation figure that was hotter than expected, uh, we now see a 40% chance of an even uh, bigger hike, 50 basis points, uh, uh, some are calling. Let's have a look at the chart here for you. As you can see there, the pound did head higher uh, at the beginning and then had a bit of a wobble coming off slightly. Some uh, market watchers saying this suggests that uh, there's now a worry that the uh, higher uh, sterling and higher interest rates might get to the point where it starts damaging the uh, broader uh, economy. Uh, what we have to also look out for is anything the Bank of England says about future interest rate projections. At the moment, we are still seeing uh, baked in uh, peak uh, interest rates for the UK somewhere just under 6%. Now, from the US, we have initial jobless claims data as well, the expectations there, 260,000 uh, and existing home sales consensus for May, negative half a percent month on month. And also look out for EIA crude oil inventories. From the Eurozone, we have consumer confidence flash figures forecast to rise to negative 17 in June from negative 17.4 in the previous months, just pushing up the uh, euro versus the dollar across there for you. Uh, has been quite a uh, climb uh, in this uh, cross uh, from around the March period up to uh, that level here, uh, which is 11,090 around uh, the beginning of May before it swung back down again. Uh, consumer confidence, of course, uh, will be uh, key given the ECB is still very worried about consumption and also those high uh, inflation figures as well. However, let's not forget that this is also a sterling uh, and also a US dollar story. Uh, the US, uh, uh, of course, waiting on that testimony uh, from the Fed and, of course, what they say about the trajectory of interest rates in the United States. On the earnings front, we have uh, full year earnings from Mulberry. Just checking on the chart here for you. Mulberry has not been completely uh, protected from the uh, cost of living crisis and uh, weaker consumption. Uh, in fact, that's uh, why its shares have been uh, dampened, as you can see here. Mulberry, though, uh, is expected to mirror what it said earlier this year and in that its effective cost controls and also the sales of its items at uh, full price more often than not has kept its numbers buoyant. And last but not least, we have Whitbread, another consumer-related stock. Uh, Whitbread, for those of you that uh, don't follow the sector, uh, owns uh, Premier in its out with a first quarter trading statement. Uh, the likes of HSBC uh, have said that they like the stock uh, because it sees um, consumers continue to change over to branded uh, hotel accommodation as opposed to unbranded like the Airbnbs. Uh, also watching the space because many, many brokers out there do agree that the uh, state of uh, hyper um, holidays uh, is, pr is pretty much over after the pandemic, but they see resilience in the travel sector as a whole, even after this uh, hyper uh, travel has dissipated.